A devastated mother has shared a photo revealing the heartbreaking realities of childhood cancer. Ally Parker took a photo of her father Sean Peterson as he sat at the bedside of his five-year-old granddaughter Brayline Lawton. Sean, who suffers from motor neurone disease, can no longer speak, but the sheer pain he is feeling can be seen from the expression on his face. Braylon was diagnosed with a brain tumor on December 6, but tragically the little girl took a turn for the worst a few days ago. Ally said she believed the world was a terrible place as she now faced saying goodbye to her daughter and father within just weeks of each other. Sharing a picture of the pair in happier times, she wrote, These two are the strongest people I have ever known. We all thought that they would outlive the rest of us. And we certainly never thought that my precious little Brayline would be the first to go. Last year was hard for us, but I can't even begin to explain how difficult this year will be and has already been. In a few days I will have to bury this beautiful little girl. Months, maybe even weeks, later, I will have to bury my father. Both of my heroes, gone, within the same year. How could this happen to us? What did any of us do to deserve this? Why do they have to leave us? What are we supposed to do? I refuse to believe that there is a reason for this. This world is a terrible place. Just over a month ago Brayline was excitedly getting ready for the holidays like most other children her age. But tragically just days before Christmas Day she was diagnosed with diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, the most deadly form of brain cancer which has no cure and no survival rate. The family, from Pensacola, Florida, were given a glimmer of hope last week after they managed to raise funds through GoFundMe to help towards a round of revolutionary experimental treatment in Mexico. Not covered by insurance, each procedure costs roughly an pound, 22,000, and due to the aggressive nature of this cancer, several rounds are needed for success, reports USA Today. But before they could take Braille in for treatment she rapidly went downhill and doctors discovered a bleed coming from her tumor. In a post on Monday, Ally wrote, Brayline is still here. Pulse is still strong. Vitals are still normal. We are leaving her on the ventilator until all of the funeral arrangements are made. It may take a few days, because everything is going to be perfect for her big day. Until then, she is still with us, still fighting, still strong. Ally has now vowed to fight for more awareness and funding for DIG, and has set up Braylon's battalion on Facebook. This should never happen to anyone. There is no one in this world who is evil enough to deserve to feel what I am currently feeling. My baby girl deserves to live a full, happy life, and so does every other child who has had to face dip. We have to put an end to this. No more kids can get this disease and be allowed to die from it. We have to find a cure, not a damn band-aid. These kids deserve so much more than that, someday soon someone needs to find out what that cure is.